know my people are always salute to how Nadeo. Yes, so I beg, uh, maybe they try train our children then well so that tomorrow they know we can constitute nuisance for the society. Now, wait till they go through for Nigeria, be that. And then uh, some people say then go school, nobody then go school, now school go through them. Because if you go through the four walls of the university, you're not going to behave in some certain ways we're seeing, you know, some of our leaders they do for Nigeria. And Bob Mali talked this thing. He said, when the criminals, you put criminals to rule the world, they can never give you better justice. There can never be justice in the law. I'm telling you. So, now be the wild what they face. So, may God, not only God, go feed us for this one. And the matter can't carry me go. They say, uh, first of kimono, one right there, uh, DSS, may DSS arrest Peter B and advice on what grounds? MC Oluomo came and said, worst. Said, what did Peter B? Peter B has always been coming out to say, no protest, no protest. Say, many people relax, he believe in the judiciary system, in as much as a lot of people, means have not believe in the judiciary system. Say, but in believe, he go work for him. So many times, a thousand and one time. You understand? When I come, you can't they write. When MC, FFK, they come out, they can't talk things, we go put country for fire. We will not already put, we will not rig election, still mandate. Wait till you call that one. Not before you are not put for the country. When FFK and MC come out, come they talk. You even put, I beg you put cellular tape, black cellular tape for I. I been put, then put cutting wool for you. You know here. Or you know get pen and paper to write. You are not put on the Eh? Anyway, I don't get gist to Jenna. Me and Una. She wanna see these our leaders, what they did, politicians. A lot of them, when they don't shit for body, they can't define with the one you clean. They can't want to try me and Una. A lot of people can't fall gullible. You understand? Can't they, they can't they play tribal cards? They play with Una mind, Una four. They say Ibo won't collect your land. We Ibo won't collect your land. Say Ibo say nah, Lagos is no man's land. Who talked that one? Jack Conde was the first person that said it in 1979. Go and check history. Now I mean, they no one make Una learn history for school. Jack Conde was the first person that said it when he won't give his speech. Open speech when they make a governor of Lagos State. That was the first person that said it. When I not correct, rectify that side. When I can't find one, I won't use cover on a shame. Watch on a shit come up for body. When the boy of Lagos come out, say Lagos not be part of Yoruba. Ella Gushi say Lagos not be part of Yoruba. When Yoruba nation say they won't go. When you know, not see that one talk. I bet Mona just just make we get peace for that country. They beg on Mona let us they as long as we still they use one green passport, eh? We still be one Nigeria. Until otherwise. They will not say yes, everybody go. I don't forget, you can't pay me, I go. They see some educated people say they're educated. They fall in for these simple cheap tricks. Cheap tricks where these people put down. Then they fall into a, oh my days. Come on. In short, I'm going to watch this video. When you watch the video, just share the video. Drop your comments. What do you think? Give me likes for this video. Nigeria, we go watch Nigeria clean like ooh, ooh, bitter leaf. We go watch them like bitter leaf. Clean. Everybody go get peace for that country. If they like, may then go moon, go meet, do meeting. If they like, may then go Jupiter, go meet, go do meeting. Nigeria, I'm a former by fire, by force. If not, Yoruba nation, now. Biafra nation, now. Era Arewa nation, now. Everybody go. Church, Agbasa, go. I want to share the video. Think that he's the only one that has access to DSS, to petition DSS? We were all here in Nigeria when, before the election, he petitioned the DSS to arrest Atiku. Now he's writing petition to the same DSS to arrest Peter Obi and arrest Yusuf Dati. On what grounds does he think that he has a right to petition? I watched the interview on, on Channel's News and I just cringed within me. Because everything he said were bordering on the lines of libel and defamation of character against Peter Obi against Yusuf Dati. He was making statements that were basically defamatory and untrue. And this must not be allowed to go unpunished. It is time for Festus Kayamu to feel the pinch of petition. The DSS must now also be petitioned by Peter Obi, must now also be petitioned by Yusuf Dati, by Labour Party, to take appropriate action against Festus Kayamu. Festus Kayamu is not does not have the monopoly of petitioning the DSS, particularly when he's doing so by breaking the law. He's making claims and alleging that Peter Obi and Labour Party are trying to incite Nigerians. Reckless claims that borders on the line of defamation of character and is calling for uh, DSS to arrest Peter Obi. He, he who alleges must prove he must not be allowed to get away with this. 
These statements he is making are the statements that have the potential to incite Nigerians against Nigerians, to divide Nigerians. These statements he is making are capable of setting Nigeria on fire. Peter Obi has gone to court. Festus Kiyamo, why not let the court take its toll? Where were you when MC Oluomo and all the rest of the thugs in Lagos were busy threatening Lagosians? Where were you? Did you petition the DSS then? Where were you when the ballets and the traditional rulers of Lagos thought it wise that it was on the eve of election that they were going to conduct Oru to disenfranchise people? Did you think it wise then, Festus Kayamo, to petition the DSS to arrest them? Where were you when people were being starved? 22 people have officially been declared killed as a result of the election. Did you petition the DSS to bring to book those who caused those deaths? Did you arrest, did you petition the DSS to arrest those thugs that were seen blatantly on video walking the streets of Lagos, marauding, threatening people not to come out except they were going to vote for APC? Did you petition the DSS? Where were you when Femi Fanikayode, Bayo Nonuga, and the likes, and even yourself were making inciting statements? Where were you when the APC fraudulently, the APC fraudulently made comments through their proxies on Twitter to say that Lagos is a no man's land, pretending to be a Yoru, uh, an Igbo person saying it just to cause strife. And this almost cost war between the Yoruba and the, and Igbos in Lagos. Where were you? Did you petition the DSS? Don't think that you have a monopoly of petitioning DSS. What you have done is cross the line. What you have done is defamatory. What you have done is libelous. Now you must feel the wrath of the law. Now Peter Obi must petition the DSS. Now Yusuf Dati must petition the DSS. You must answer for your actions. What you have done is defamatory. You must answer for it because you do not have a monopoly of petitions. That we are keeping quiet does not mean you can bully us. After voter suppression, you want to now do victim shaming? No, now. No, this Nigeria belongs to all of us. And you cannot suppress us in it. You will answer for your actions. First us, Kayamo. This is the time for the MBA to come out and speak in defense of the legal protection of profession. The MBA cannot be seen to be keeping quiet when people like Festus Kayamu bring the name, drag the name of the legal profession in the mud, coming to lie on national television just to defend a crime that was committed in America. And the MBA is quiet and a senior advocate of Nigeria is coming out to make this kind of inciting statement. The MBA cannot keep quiet. Yes, petition will go on to the DSS against Festus Kayamu, but the MBA owes Nigeria this duty to call Festus Kayamu to order, to retrieve his SAN title, and even to debar him. The MBA must do Nigeria this duty, and the time is now.